okay good morning student so myself professor hitan mistri from sitaram bai nandipuram institute of technology and research center umrak bardoli okay so i am taking your subject material science and metallurgy for the third semester in the mechanical engineering department so talking about myself i have my myself hitan mistri i completed my masters in production engineering department and i am since uh, in sn patel institute since last 4 years okay. so now uh, looking to our forward to the subject so now in the subject so now first of all let's we discuss towards the, what is material science and metallurgy let's separate that one word into three different parts so now what is material so now talking about the materials so material is what material is the substance that have mass and which occupies space okay any solid object which they have some proportion of mass that occupy space is your material okay it can be classified into as a natural material and human made material so talking about the natural material such as first let's say natural material is such as uh, wood which is a naturally available material which will be used at many place for example let's say wood will be used in the furniture any human made material such as uh, let's say at any metals and alloys which we are using in our day to day life and all for example waste example is your car okay, which has many kinds of metal in that okay. so now there are uh, about 300000 different known material to us till day okay so now this is about a quick brief about the material now what is the science behind that okay so material science involved investigating the relationship that exist between two points two points are this first one is a structure and next one is a property okay so now if we know what are the structure we have to made so according to that we have to select the material and before selecting that material we have to know that what is the property of that material so this kind of structures and things and properties and all comes into the science okay now next one is your metallurgy okay so metallurgy is a domain in which it study the okay just a minute uh, okay. metallurgy is a domain in which the various uh, materials and its detailed classification is been there okay so which will uh, be uh, taught for the okay now brief overview of the subject of in material okay so now as we have said we are in a gujarat technical university okay the subject name is material science and metallurgy okay so now talking about the basic scheme that we have three lectures per week two per practical session and total credits of four session okay so the theory marks include 70 mark for the external and 30 mark for the practical examination and for the practical marks there is a 30 marks of viva and 20 marks of uh, weekly assessment of your uh, assignments so total there is a 150 marks in a total okay so talking towards the subjects topics the first chapter is your introduction to material science and metallurgy okay so in that we are going to uh, study the various kind of materials and what are the basics uh, field of the material and what are the importance and characteristics of the material okay now the second part is your crystal geometry and crystal imperfection okay so now now we are digging towards the internal part of a material suppose um, this whole chapter deals with the internal structure of a metal how material is been made what are the basic crystal structure what are the crystal lattices and how the materials is been made now third one is a metallic material okay in that the various uh, examinations and all is been carry out for the metallic material for testing the different kind of metallic material okay fourth one is a solidification or theory of alloy okay now in the chapter number 4 we we are going to study is that um, suppose we are going to we are having melt a molten metal and we are pouring into some kind of mold and after the solidification it will be uh, comes in a solid liquid to solid transformation okay so now what is the behavior in between that okay, how it is been first of all it is in liquid how it is solidified how the things goes it will be studies in the chapter number 4 okay now next one is your chapter number 5 which is a phase and equilibrium okay so now according to different temperature and different material we have different phases and equilibrium sets it is back to exam uh, material is going to be checked okay 
एंड चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स अलोट्रॉपी ऑफ आयन आयन कार्बन डायग्राम सिस्टम द मेन चैप्टर मेन टॉपिक इज अलोट्रॉपी ऑफ आयन एंड आयन कार्बन डायग्राम इन इज मोस्ट चैप्टर कवर्ड आउट थ्रू आउट द सब्जेक्ट्स इन विच द वेरियस अलॉयज ग्रुप वेरियस मेटल्स एंड वेरियस रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन एंड द वेरियस फॉर्मेशन ऑफ आयन विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू डिफरेंट टेम्परेचर इज गोइंग टू बी स्टडीड नेक्स्ट वन इज ए टी टी डी डायग्राम एंड हीट ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ द स्टील के नाउ As we know that the steel is the basic structure mostly used at every point. Now, at a, and what is the behavior when we are going to heat treatment that steel and time temperature transformation diagram and all which we are going to study in that chapter. In the next chapter, we have powder metallurgy. Okay, so powder metallurgy basically deals with the manufacturing process uh, that were basically uh, involved uh, the various uh, uh, talking about that uh, heat treatment parts and all. now next non destructive testing okay now first of all we have select uh, in that non destructive testing uh, we are going to test that material without breaking it okay so the, in that the various matter testing methods have been there for the testing of the non destructive testing is we are going to study the next and the last one is a corrosion metal and alloy you can the what is the behavior of corrosion on the metals and non alloy okay so now these are the brief, brief overview of the chapter and the subject okay now Uh, these are the references, and these are the uh, uh, course outcome. Okay, there are the four outcome. Talking about the list of practicals, there are basically ten practicals that we are going to study throughout our subject, and it will be discussed for the in our presentation. Okay, so there are total ten chapters, ten assignments. Okay? Now, as we looking towards the, our screen. So what does it says? There is a bicycle, in which there are so many kinds of material available. So let's say first talking about the first area. First one is the saddle area. The saddle part is the seat part and the seat post. Okay. So now talking about the seat. The seat is also made of a rubber material. The steel post is made of an aluminium. Okay. Then of the face part, it has some different kind of materials and parts, which all the parts in the as we see in the cycle, there are so many parts. and all that parts have different kind of material in that so now my question is that why i have put this kind of uh, figure why because uh, each and every part has a different application so according to that it have to be perfect I'm talking about the first frame part okay so talking about this frame part this is the main whole backbone of the cycle okay suppose this frame is not according to its standard this is not according to its toughness So the what will be happen? It will be break down. It will be have future damage problem in all. So what we have to do? We have to set the proper material and proper strength of the material to withstand the stress and strain during the cycling period. Okay. So same we are going to study for the other materials. Okay. So now, first of all, material science. Material science. What is material science? Material science is an investigating the relationship between that exists between. structure and properties of an material okay now on the basis of that structure of a property the desired dimension of the property and structure which is to be produced is to be set okay now first of all the structure talking about the structure structure of a material usually related with the arrangement of an internal components okay basically structures deal with the arrangement of an internal component of a material okay so now this internal component that might be subdivided in different parts so first one is your sub atomic okay now sub atomic is what the sub the structure involves electron within the individual atoms and its interaction with the nuclei as we have studied in our school time here is the figure in which we have studied this kind of, we have already shown this kind of figure in that in the center portion we have proton and The the basic nucleus is con uh, connected of a two different part. First one is a proton, and second one is a neutron. And the combination under the dead proton neutron is known as nucleus. And the electron is orbiting towards each other. Okay, so these are the electrons. Okay, so now proton is of positive charge. Atomic level. Okay, the structure. in the atomic level the atomic level encompasses 
the organization of the structure or molecules relative to the one other okay so as we have seen in the figure there is an uh, atomic structure of a common cell okay as we, we are uh, looking towards that atomic structure in the future now looking toward the microscopic okay the microscopic deals with the small elements of the material as we are going to have a group of atoms normally grouped together okay so now we are going to have a microscopic view of a material as we have seen here this is a 50 times 50 micrometer zoom so talking about any material so as we have we can see it on the naked eye it will be zoom suppose it will be zoom in 50 times more larger in the depth then we can have this kind of image in the microscopic in the electronic tunneling microscope okay? now there is a macroscopic level in which we can review from our naked eyes from the basic example such as wood is the various layers and all in which can be seen from our naked eye okay so this is a subatomic level then is the atomic level is microscopic level and this is a microscopic level okay now so now material science is the relationship exists between structure and property of an material okay and depending upon that structure and property of material the design combination or structure of the material which is which is to be produced is to be set okay so next point is your properties so properties is uh, trade material trade in terms of kinds and magnitude of a response for a specific impost and stimulus so properties are mainly depend upon material size and shape so depending upon what are the shape and what are the size of a material we are going to have various properties and different kind of achievements of the property to in our specific proper material okay for example specimen such as force suppose we are going to give any force to an object but obviously it will be deformed okay such as the polished surface metal polished metal will but obviously reflect lights the property of metal should be grouped by combination of that property it has been grouped into six different categories so first one is a mechanical mechanical property basically deals with the physical attributes next one is the electrical property deals with the electrical systems and all third one is the thermal property which it basically deals with the uh, heat conductivity fourth one is a magnetic property fifth one is optical which is a viable characteristic and first one is a decorative property which is a physical appearance of an material okay so there are basically four components of an basically deals with the material science which are that four components the four hundred are characterized as and such as first one is a structure second one is a property third one is a performance and fourth one is a processing okay so now talking towards the structure suppose we are going to view any material any uh, object so we have to decide what are the basic structure how the structure is to be look like and by designing of deck structure what is the property having group properties and all with this complex structure by setting the properties and structure how it will be performed in our in that application and by combination of that to what is the processing behind that performance of an material so by combination of that two processing cycle we have our characterization proper with respect to subjects okay now talking about the metallurgical okay so metallurgy is in domain of material science engineering that basically deals with the physical and chemical behavior of an metal and the intermetallic compound which is known as alloys okay now metallurgical is an also a technology of metal in science applied for the production and industrialization of a metal and engineering metal component which is used for customers and manufacturers okay as we see here in the figure there is an ore metal ore basically available in the earth crust down below thousands of kilometers below the earth crust we have the basic kind of ore by purifying that ore by separating of the rocks beads and sands and all we have from that we have the metallic compound okay so by in that metallic compound by separating various chemicals from each other then various chemicals and all, all things are extracted and we have the metals okay, in the pure form okay. so by adding various alloys and all we can have a different kind of metals and different alloys available with us okay. so this is a science of obtaining metal from the ores okay. the scientific approach of metallurgical involves 
the main two purpose first one is a chemical and second one is a physical metallurgy okay so now chemically metallurgical deals with the reduction and oxidation of the metal basically deals with the reduction and oxidation okay. how it is been reduction and how the metal is been oxidized okay. it is the science of obtaining metal from them ore okay and the consideration of that reaction of metal derived through chemical approaches okay. now it involves reactivity of metals basically electrochemicals and their behavior and corrosion behavior within the metals and all okay so these are the chemical reaction now second one is a physical metallurgy physical metallurgy may include various properties such as mechanical magnetic electrical thermal and property various kind of metal uh, properties of metal which is in solid physics state okay now physical uh, metallurgy is a systematic way of evaluating physical property of metals and alloys and basically fundamental application and basics fundamental application okay the next one is a third one is a extractive metallurgy okay how uh, material is been extracted from the ore okay so depending upon ferrous and non ferrous there are various generalized group on the basis of that uh, various processes such as mineral processes then after hydrometallurgy next one is a pyrometallurgy and electrometallurgy so from any one is to be used by obtaining various ferrous and non ferrous material okay so several metal is been used for extracting metallurgy metals from the ores okay now the solid material are basically grouped in the three basic classification so which one is that first classified into metals second in the ceramics and third one is the polymers so by combination of uh, by dividing into three sub category all the material has been basically classified so talking about the metals okay as we see here over here there are the various kinds of metal available such as copper steel metal sludge bones and xyz metals has been available in the figures okay so the, these materials is been grouped are composed of one or two metallic elements such as iron aluminum copper titanium gold and nickel these are the one or two or one or more metallic elements by combination of that we can have the various elements and so we have also the non metallic elements such as carbon nitrogen and oxygen these are all non metallic elements really are all relative in a small amount the atoms in the metal and their alloys are in a very orderly manner okay then the same straight part it has been available in the arrangement in the, in the arrange main comparison to the ceramics and polymers and relatively dense so as compared to that of ceramics and polymer the metal components are denser than that okay so talking about the metal and mechanical property of a material metal so it is relatively stiff and strong and ductile as compared to that of uh, ceramics and polymer which is being capable of forming large amount of deformation without fracture okay and the main important is it require resistance to fracture okay. so metallical material have large number of non localized electron these are the electrons and non bonded to particular atom okay. many uh, properties of metal are directly attributed to the electrons and for example which are the properties metal are extremely good conductor of electricity good conductor of heat not transparent to visible light and as a polished surface which is basically illustrious appearance okay so <coughs> so these are the basics category and basics elements of uh, points of the material now some of the metals such as iron cobalt nickel have the desirable magnetic coating now second thing is your ceramics so talking about the ceramics as shown in the figure these are all the pots and clays and x y z cup and plates and all are the ceramics okay so talking towards that there are basically there are two compounds in that first one is a metallic compound and second one is a non metallic elements okay so there are basically oxides nitrides and carbide of the ceramics okay? for example such as aluminum